Daniel Festival, absolutely buzzing, it's back on. I'm here with the youth service, of course. Some of our young people have decorated some of the bikes that are going to be in the parade. We're here with the Amnesty BSL, which is about raising awareness for violent crime. Everyone's buzzing to be here. Hopefully the weather's good. It's always good vibes here and can't wait for the day to crack on. So Downhill Festival's been going for 20 years. This is the 17th festival we've done here because we had a little break uh, for the two years during the pandemic. The Downhill is Hayward's sort of prominent housing estate and Cutwell Arts come every year and we work really closely with the local residents, with the Downhill Festival Association. We work with the youth service, local schools to put on this fantastic, exciting, big annual festival. All four local primary schools have been involved. The bikes they decorated were on the parade. It was so great to see so many people, family out, the sun came out for us. So yeah, it's been brilliant. Everybody that's here today, we want to welcome you because you're on Downhill and we can party on Downhill and today we're going to party. amazing event all the people in the community coming together it's my first time at downhill and i must confess that but i was amazed i was really astonished i convinced one of my sons to come as well but it was lovely it's lovely seeing people together and it's actually an honor and the weather's on our side as well for today so it was really nice thank you for having us Tennis, playing football, to the wall, listening to the singing, really good. I had fun playing on the um, drums in the band. It brings like hope and makes people happier because there's something to look forward to. It just brings everyone together, do you know what I mean? It's good for the kids, do you know what I mean? Get a day out on Downhill, have fun and that. Yeah, it's good. It's been lovely and the weather's been really good as well, and very kind to us. Everybody's having a good time and the children are having a good time after being locked down for so long, so it's been nice. It's been nice to see all the happy smiley faces. This is really important that we have this yearly and to bring the family together. I think it's important because kids can have fun instead of being on the consoles at home. We've been involved with some vouchers, you know, we're involved in the tombola, so that's gonna go up. So the people, just a bit of awareness, you know, for the for the shop. You're okay. Top shop mate, top shop. So today I'm at Downhill Festival doing workshops for Carwheel Arts as part of their Emerging Artists program. Um, so I'm doing a workshop about uh, mycelial networks and one about how mycelial networks are a lot like communities and a lot like what we're doing here today at the festival. So today we're making tie-dye t-shirts <laughs> and we're making them by putting them in with the inks inside an empty football and then the kids can kick them around and mix it all up themselves. The community aspect has been so lovely, everyone's been so lovely, so interactive. Talking to other people that have been doing stores and the opportunities it's giving everybody and being able to take something away and hearing really positive feedback from people that have gone to other places. But yeah, I think it's such a beautiful thing to invest in and bring people together. Hopes for next year's festival definitely will be a festival next year. I'd really love to invite kind of more local residents to come out and let us know exactly what they want. So we co-create the festival every year. We work with the youth service and the Downhill Festival Association to get their ideas. But I think there are residents that we're potentially missing. So I'd love to invite more residents to come out. What do they want to see next year? Because really it's about the local community. So their kind of ideas and creative juices are what, what we need to cook up to make um, Downhill 2023 happen.